Ah, so, ayan. Good morning, ma'am. Ah, ah, ma'am, ma, nagustuhan. Parang nagustuhan kasi ng ating mga viewers, ano, yung, ah, yung ano, una nating ah, pagkwentuhan. At, ah, ah, parang nagandahan sila doon sa, sa iyong mga ah, sinabi, no? So, kaya naisipan kong, ano, ah, pasyalan ka ulit. At, ah, at, ah, kumustahin, ano, ma'am? At, ah, at lalo-lalo na ngayon, eh, Uh, katatapos pa lang ng Pasko, ano? Ah, Ma'am, kumusta po kayo? Uh, mabuti po naman. Fine, thank you. Ayan. So, uh, Ma'am, uh, pwede ulit um, uh, magkwentuhan tayo uh, regarding dun sa uh, sa mga Marcoses. Ano kasi, parang nagustuhan nila, ano? At uh, gusto ko sanang itanong sa inyo ngayon uh, kung uh, uh, regarding sa Marcialo, ano po ba ang masasabi ninyo patungkol doon? Uh, regarding the martial law, it was announced by President Marcos with good intention yes, not yes. to destroy the people, mm -hmm. not to be a burden to the people. It is because of these uh, predominating uh, crimes happening during those days. Okay. He just wanted to solve the problem. That is the simple reason that most of his opponent do not and did not understand because it is very hard To explain to those people who understand but they refuse to understand. Yes, yes. Uh, so, ma'am, ano ba ang uh, naging anong epekto sa mga tao nitong uh, martial law? Well, it brings about to our society a good result because uh, the people uh, have discipline oh, yeah. because of their fear of the punishment imposed by President Marcos. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, ma'am, napunta naman tayo doon sa uh, kwento mo, ano? uh, sa sarili mo, nung uh, uh, kabataan mo pa. Uh, uh, kayo po ba, ma'am, eh, nakapag-abroad o dito lang kayo uh, sa Pilipinas nag, uh, nakapag-work? Uh, uh, kumusta naman po kayo noon? Uh, I stayed uh, outside our country for 36 years. Uh -huh. And luckily, I was sent to represent our company into some other countries. Yes. To my surprise, when uh, I was the uh, supervisor of the dinner dance in the Moat House Company in London, uh -huh. uh, the people attending parties there are all royal blood. Oh, wow. Uh, from Queen Elizabeth to the Lord and Ladies of England. Mm -hmm. So, unawarely, they, I did not know they noticed me. Mm -hmm. And then they asked me, oh, young lady, I was still young before. Uh, where do you come from? I simply, I said, from Philippines. Oh, their, their, all their faces changes, even the Lord and Ladies of her. And they, are, they immediately said, Oh, you have a very good and intelligent president. Oh, wow. So, sa madali They highly sa... admire yan. Okay. Not only those group of people admire Marcos. When I go to another place, same remarks I am hearing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, our situation before, our condition of the people, mm -hmm. we are elated because of our president. Oh, wow. They look high on us. Mm -hmm. So sa ngayon naman ma'am ano, eh, Mapunta tayo kay uh, Bongbong Marcos Dahil nga mm -hmm. sa ito si Bongbong Marcos Ay uh, uh, candidate for uh, president Sa ngayong uh, 2022 uh, national election So sa mga naririnig po natin eh, Halos po lahat ng uh, mga, mga pagbibintang Ay uh, binabato sa kanya ng kanyang mga kalaban Ano po ba masasabi niyo dito? Oh, regarding this uh, criticism no, being po. attributed by most uh, opponent of uh, President Marcos, <clears throat> what they don't understand, because they are hearing the, simply the word revolution. When we speak of revolution, it does not necessarily follow fighting and killing. Mm -hmm. Re the real essence of revolution is change. Mm -hmm. A change. Revolution equals change. To change the 
bad image of the country or the mistakes that had been committed by the other president before. Oh, yes. So this revolution has two kinds. We have the bloody revolution, which is the killing, uh -huh. and the peaceful revolution, staying calmly as what President Ferdinand Marcos as early as those times did. Yes. He just used his pen and his intelligence in reforming our country in his objective of making our country a great nation and to be and great again. Mm -hmm. So sa madalit sabi ninyo ma'am ay napakaganda ng uh, uh, leadership noon ni Pangulong Ferdinand I. Marcos. Oh, for me, I, I, will, uh, I would rate him as uh, exemplary excellence because th those uh, president who came before Marcos mm -hmm. and the president who came uh, after his term or during his term, mm -hmm. they were not able to accomplish as such achievement as what President Marcos did. And making a comparison to the present times, to what is happening to Bongo Marcos, his son, to what Bongo Marcos is suffering from the people. Uh, we can compare this peaceful revolution. Oh, yeah. No matter how painful they are throwing criticisms to Bongo Marcos, still he stay calm. Mm -hmm. yeah, he just uh, he do not speak against any other candidate, At against other sure. group, against other people. Uh -huh. Never he mentioned mm -hmm. whatever the question. Very humbly, very humble, he answer. Oh, yeah. And whenever he answer, if you all notice, it. It is being supported by uh, evidences. Ayaw. Evidences were in. It was not proven until this time. No po. And very clearly in the television, the, the attorney, one of the attorney I've heard, explained about those IT or about those taxes, oh, yes, which yes. are not true. Uh -uh. Oh, so, okay. if you are a, for me, if you are a candidate, you must not speak against. Your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Just speak about yourself mm -hmm. and your. If you have a noble plan of uh, for uh, doing uh, such good deeds for the betterment, development, and progress of our country, and this all I see during the Marcos regime of Ferdinand mm -hmm. Marcos, mm -hmm. that he really tried his very best. Because of his, he uses his intelligence for the good of the people, Ayan. not for the bad of the people. Mm -hmm. Those uh, wealth, accumulation of wealth, etc. It was not proven until mm -hmm. now, only all mere talks. Mm -hmm. And I do not know if some of his opponents had already lived during the Marcos regime. Ay, uh, uh, so ma'am nabanggit ninyo iyang mga ganyang patutsada ng kanyang uh, mang, uh, mga ano, opponent, opponent eh, no? yeah. uh, Number one na dito si uh, uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo eh, Ma'am ano naman po ang masasabi ninyo regarding dito kay uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo? Well uh, very simple summing up everything eh, he do not, She do not have any originality oh, wow. All what she's telling are uh, false, really mm -hmm. false information, false truths. Mm -hmm. If she is a good people, as early as this time, we can see who will be a good leader and a bad leader. Yeah. Because uh, her, she did not uh, have been elected, but what is she doing? She's destroying some of the people and they are her opponent. Ah, uh, yeah. Opa, opa. Must be, must be she give remarks in a good way to get the heart and sympathy of the people mm -hmm. not to make some publication that is the very false things that the opponent of marcos are doing mm -hmm. this publication of facts which are not true ayan so ma'am ano uh, dahilan sa uh, kay uh, BBM nga po kayo ano at uh, pwede po tayo ngayon mag-invite ma'am sa ating uh, mga viewers uh, sa uh, sa buong Pilipinas na sa ngayong darating na butuhan sa May 9 ay uh, sana po uh, si Bongbong Marcos ang piliin natin. Ay opo, uh, really 
although as what I have said in the first interview, I did not see the Marcoses. Mm -hmm. They do not know me, I don't know them. Mm -hmm. I based all my remarks and the facts that I am telling through actual, actual experiences. Yes, yes. Not mere publication or invention of us, as one as some of the candidates now are doing in order to get the sympathy of the people. And they are not aware that that is not correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are, if they say they are intelligent, they are in that position uh, for the candidacy of the president, they must be aware that they must not be doing or giving such false and lies remarks. Ah, okay. So, maraming maraming salamat kay uh, mama, no? So, ma'am, Merry Christmas po. <laughs> and yeah, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, po. Uh, so, uh, malakas naman po si ma'am, ano? Uh, wala naman pong nararamdaman si ma'am uh, sa ngayon. Prayers, pray kanyo nila ako na to remain in good health. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, God bless you po, ma'am. And then, uh, lagi po tayo magdadasal. Uh, sige po, ma'am. So, so it, uh, ah, yes, summing yes, up everything, it is very simple. Opo. Uh, the, all the remarks given or being thrown at present to Bongbong Marcos, ah, yeah. they are all false. False and blind. Ah, yeah. So, they should stop doing this. They must be aware that they must not be doing this if they are mature people. Because... What they are doing, that is the doings or action of immature people. Uh -huh. Because if you are mature, you will not be telling lies or saying as such. Oh, wow. Uh, Which okay. will not contribute any good for our country. Ah, oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, if after the system you are telling lies, what more if you gain the presidency? So you will be, you will be the one to do some bad things and then you will tell lies. In your reports for the nation, the state of the nation, not the oh, yeah, You okay. cannot uh, give a uh, good speech for the good nation address. Good the nation address. Mm. So oh, yeah. the main word is fabrication. They have, they have to evade, to avoid mm. fabrication of facts and events regarding the Marcoses. While the Marcoses is not doing any harm oh, to yes, any one of them. Opo, opo. Right. Okay. So maraming maraming salamat po kay Ma'am Shirley ano. At uh, uh, guys, uh, kung naalala po ninyo ay yung uh, dati nating uh, nakausap si Ma'am Shirley at uh, uh, ito binalikan natin siya at para ma at para makumusta at makausap na rin natin siya ulit ano. At uh, parang nagustuhan ng ating uh, mga kasama ng ating mga supporters dito sa ating uh, munting channel. Kaya natin kinausap ulit si Ma'am Shirley. So, nagpapasalamat kami. Ah, Ma'am Shirley, pa-shoutout naman sa ating mga viewers. Hari na wapo, I speak in our dialect. I send in niya the dictates of your heart. Not because of fear na tinatakot kayo. Not because of bribery na binabayaran kayo. Ayan. So, thank you, thank you, Ma'am. So, bye-bye. Opo. Happy New Year to all, to everyone. Oh yeah.